Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Chi Chuan Wang, coming from uh, National Taiwan University School of Pharmacy. When the organizing committee asked me whether I want to present in Mandarin or in English, I thought, well, this is an international conference. So I told them, okay, I will present in English. But then I found everybody is, is presenting in Mandarin. So now um, I'm standing here, so please bear with me. Um, in the next 10 minutes or so, I'm going to use uh, English to introduce my research to you all. So before we get started, let me briefly introduce myself. My background is in pharmacy, but I don't kill animals. I do data analysis. My goal is to use big data to improve and to understand everybody's health data, and hopefully we can make everybody's health better. Before I joined NTU, I worked as a senior health economist in a big consulting firm in the USA. And my job was to use big data to answer questions from pharmaceutical companies. So we all know that drugs work differently for different persons. However, what we don't know and we really want to know is which drugs works for whom and who will experience adverse drug reactions. For example, one day I talked to a taxi driver. He told me that his wife has uncontrolled diabetes because the drug works for her, also gives her a lot of side effects. And the drug that doesn't give her side effect simply doesn't work. Today, we have a solution for this problem. Through big data analysis, we can better predict which drugs works for whom. Uh, in the healthcare field, big data are generated routinely through our daily activities, just like in other fields. When you surf online, the network is recording your activities and generating data. For example, Google, Amazon, and Facebook knows which website you have visited, which articles you liked, and which items you purchased. Through this data, they can better understand your needs and provide customized services for you. Similarly, in the healthcare field, when you go to see a doctor, the doctor may put notes about your health and your test results. That's your electronic medical records. After the visit, you may file for insurance reimbursement, so your insurance claims data are generated. You may also have data on how many steps you walk each day, your blood pressure, heart rate, and your diet and exercise habit in your mobile devices. So these are all your data. They are all about you. But they are like pieces of puzzles stored at different places. Only when we put them together, we can see the whole picture. However, personal privacy and data security are the challenges. How can we build a platform that allows us to share data, but also protect our personal health information from being abused? In my project, our team used two techniques to get this goal, common data model and distributed data network. Because healthcare data are often stored at different places in different formats, the first step is to transform all the data into a single format, which is called common data model. Under the common data model, all data from different sites will have the same structure and cover the same amount of information, which will make information exchange and pooling easy. It's like sharing video with your friends. You may have videos in different formats, like MOV, MP4, AVI, coming from Apple, Google, or Windows. In order to share video across different platforms, we need a unified format, and that's common data model in our project. The second technique we used is called distributed data network, which is a secure network that links multiple databases. Under the distributed data network, we are able to simultaneously query multiple databases from different sites and retrieve the identified aggregated results back. Along with the common data model, 
we will be able to analyze all the data at their local sites. Most importantly, no data will leave their sites, which provides strong privacy protection. So currently, we work with Harvard University to build this platform. And uh, locally, we have been able to successfully retrieve summary statistics using data from electronic medical records of three medical centers in Taiwan, including National Taiwan University Hospital, National Chen Kong University Hospital, and all the affiliated hospitals of the Chang'e Medical Foundation. So with this platform, we will be able to apply advanced statistical and epidemiological methods to further evaluate drug effectiveness and safety. We can also generate evidence to support for clinical practice and decision making. Most importantly, we will not break your privacy and all of your data will be stored safely at the site they are generated. So the techniques we mentioned earlier can also be applied to integrate personal health records for individuals. Currently, our team is working with an AI company to develop an app which allows individuals to integrate all of their health information from different sources. So with this app, an individual will have a complete profile of his or her own health, including all the medical history, all the examination results, and all the health behaviors. So a person and his or her healthcare provider can better track their health status. In addition to the distributed data network, we applied blockchain technique in this app to further protect individual privacy and the data integrity. With blockchain technique, all the data transactions will be tracked and recorded on the blockchain. And we will be able to identify individuals without knowing who they are. So you may ask, oh, there are very, very, lots of different apps just like yours. What makes your app unique? So one unique feature of our app is that we use distributed data network. So in other words, all the data linked by our app are stored at their local sites. We will not collect or store or your own data. So there will be no centralized server with our app. Why is this important? This is why. With our system, nothing like this will happen. If you think about it, today, when you log into Facebook, you need to prove your own identity to Facebook. For example, I need to prove to Facebook I am Chi Chen Wang in order to log into my own account. And Facebook took all of my data from me, right? They have my profile. In the future, our goal is to hope to flip this around. You are the data owner. Data is your property. So instead to prove to Facebook your own identity, it should be Facebook or any other personnel that who wants to access to your data, prove their own identities to you. So in the future, Facebook needs to prove to you that they are Facebook in order to access your profile to get your information. So under this platform, even a hacker hack into a central server, they will get very minimal information from you. Oops. So there are a lot of systems like us are currently built worldwide. However, our data integration system will be the first one in Taiwan and the second one in Asia. Remember the taxi driver's wife? With our platform, we will be able to provide her a better recommendation for her treatment. Uh, finally, I would like to thank the Ministry of Science and Technology for their strong support on this project. The AI company, Numbers, who worked with us to develop the app, and all the co-PIs and my lab members for their hard work and the strong support on this project. Thank you very much. <laughs>